All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the shell module in Electron. Now, the shell module is used to open a folder or a file within a folder or an external URL in your default browser. Now, it is pretty straightforward to use, so let's take a look at the demo. Again, I'm going to start off with the Hello World project. In package.json, I've changed the name to shell demo and index.html, I've just changed the title and the h1 tag. Now the first thing I'm going to do is in index.html I'm going to create a new button. The text is going to be open and let's give it an id. id is equal to open button. Next we are going to have a script tag and within the script tag we are going to require index.js. So let's also create this file index.js Within index.js, first let's get a reference to the button. So const open button is equal to document dot get element by id open button. Now to work with the shell module in Electron, we need to require it. So const shell is equal to require electron dot shell. And then we handle the click event on the button. So open button dot add event listener. Now the event is a click event and then we execute a function. Okay, so there are three useful methods that the shell module provides. The first method that it provides is to open a folder in your file system. And you specify the full path as the argument. So it is going to be shell dot show item in folder and then the path now in my file system in e drive i have a folder created called electron folder and i have demo.txt and youtube logo.jpg two files within this folder so the first one we are going to specify the path e drive now make sure you escape your backslashes electron folder demo.txt so now let me run npm start and we can verify what happens. So we have the heading shell module and we also have the button that says open. Now to make sure that it is actually working, I'm going to close this file explorer and then I'm going to click on the open button. Now what the method does is it opens the electron folder and selects demo.txt. Of course, if demo.txt doesn't exist in the folder, no file will be selected. So we are basically asking it to show the item in a particular folder. So show demo.txt in electron folder. And that is why electron folder was opened and demo.txt was selected by default. Now the second method the shell provides is to open the file itself. So I have an image youtube logo.jpg which we can directly open from our Electron application. So this is going to be shell dot open item and then the full path. So e electron folder youtube logo dot jpg. Let's run this and test it out. Again, I'm just going to close this file explorer, restart our application npm start. Now when I click on open, two things must happen. The electron folder must be opened with demo.txt selected and the image should be opened. So I'm going to click on open and there you go. You can see that the electron folder was opened and demo.txt is selected and the image which is our YouTube logo is opened as well. And finally the third method is to open an external link in your default browser. So we can have shell.openexternal and then the link. And let's just open the Electron website. So let me restart this application, npm start. And when I click on the open button, three things are going to happen. So open. So the first thing was the Electron folder was opened with demo.txt selected. Our YouTube logo image was opened. And in my default browser, which is Chrome, Electron web page is opened. So that is about the shell module in Electron. It can be used to access native elements like files, folders, and open links in your default browser. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.